Regular viewers of this channel know what's going to drop. I'm playing it quick and dirty, but nonetheless German, because it will be highly efficient. This video is called Million Silver Line Gaming for a reason. And I do it with chips. Why? Because I can. That's all the reason I need. I hope you enjoy. Hello, hello there and welcome back to Wolfen aboard the USS Helena, one of the most disgusting ships you can encounter in naval forces when it's not commanded by a bot, but that will be the topic of another video. Today it's about making a quick buck, literally a 10 minute million civil line match. Now, don't worry, we'll actually get into the actual footage, the actual recording of the match. And we don't have to endure the replay for more than another two minutes. Basically, the Helena is the best premium cruiser that is there because it can kill destroyers and battleships alike by both giving them the golden HE shower. If that sounds disgusting, welcome to War Thunder. Because HE damage model, it's really weird. You don't see the damage, you don't see the damage, ship, is, ship explodes. Um, I put down battleships, you know, all kinds of battleships. Even the best ones, the weakest ones, other cruisers, uh, other destroyers. But funnily enough, the most efficient way to put down the Moffats is to give them the AP treatment and the cruisers, the HE treatment. It's War Thunder. Uh, don't ask for it. So, first of all, kudos to my team. They were playing really well. But thankfully, they were not too good. So, I basically got all the kills. I'm also finding myself in a down tier. Yes, this is a premium ship with the highest civil line modifier in the game. With my premium account, it is 1200%. But as I clearly and painstakingly accurately pointed out in one of my most viewed videos, which is the Big Civil Line Grinding Guide, to which you will find the link in the video description down below and maybe even in the comment section, the tactic that I'm using actually makes the premium account, I wouldn't say pointless, but it makes them way less important as it may seem. So here we are in the actual recording and now you can see all the civil lines just tickling down, uh, just activating your neurons right there. Beautiful. So I got a down tier. I am in a ship with one of the highest civil line modifiers in the game and I just got a hmm, 500% civil line booster that I activated from my daily login containers. But again, as I clearly pointed out, you can do this every single day, at least once, when you play the ground assault and the air assault and earn yourself the 300% civil line boosters. Then it might be, quote unquote, only seven and 800,000 civil line matches. But you can do this every day, right? And you also can do this with premium ships, uh, with, with tech tree ships. Um, like the Atlanta or the tech tree version of this. It works. But a lot of people just don't like to play Neo Forces because it's boring. And if ships are not your thing, I absolutely understand you. But this is not about having fun. I mean, we're playing War Thunder, right? It's about playing the game by the rules set by the game to make the most profit. Simple question for you tankers out there. How long does it actually take you, even with a premium account and all the boosters in the world, to make a net million silver line gain? The same goes out for pilots. How long does it take you to earn a million silver lines as pure profit? Well, it takes a while. And yes, you're also grinding. Meanwhile, you're upgrading your tanks, you're researching tanks. I get this, I get this. But this is about making a quick buck. So here is basically the final trick. Again, that I clearly pointed out 
in my civil line grinding guide. You look around and you spot for yourself an opening where you can put down in quick succession many many enemy players. You go into your orders and you activate the Antamac one. So what this does is it gives you a timer of five minutes and in that time you need to be the one to kill the most enemies on both sides. And then the silver lines that you made by killing all those players get added to you threefold. That means that you already have a very high base income for those kills because maybe you have a ship with a very high silver line modifier and a very big booster. That amount gets added to you threefold. And that gives you absurd amounts of income. Watch this. So I just killed now basically with one or two Savos enemies. And it's fantastic. This guy is sitting at 6.3 kilometers. Just still stationary. How can I possibly miss? Now what makes the Helena so brutally efficient is that you have 15 6 inch guns that fire every 5 seconds, uh, every 6 seconds. You have good protection versus HE, unlike the Japanese counterparts with 15, gu 15 uh, guns. You overall are really, really difficult to nuke, so basically magazine detonate. You have really great AA and you just never run out of ammunition. You have some of the hardest hitting HE shells, some of them also with proximity fuse versus aircraft just because you're American. And AP. The single AP shell is not that good, but it pans deep into the ship, destroys a module, and you have so many per salvo of them. It's absolutely fantastic. And just like this, I made 5 kills for the order. That is absolutely fantastic. Also kudos to my team. They are really capping all the caps. I do not have to go for the caps, um, so I'm also winning this match. But I get the most kills, so my team is not too good. Yes, it's a dream scenario, it's a down tier, it's just all the bots, they position themselves poorly, I position myself nicely, it's one of the better maps I'd say, and I have, you know, the booster just activated, that's a little bit of a gambling thing, so I absolutely agree if you say that this is high risk, because you can also end up in a full up tier versus battleships. Um, on an open ocean map, but here's the thing Currently due to the damage model the Helena can also easily kill battleships I'm not making this up and it still can get a good profit So I've now run out of uh, easy targets But I think that this is already good enough six kills. That's really nice the best thing that I did so far was getting 12 kills two years ago in the USS Cowell, back in the day when it was the king of the ocean and it only had a modifier of 2.4 but even then I made uh, in that game over 1 million silver lines. So we're approaching now the 9 minute mark of the game and there would be in theory still a few minutes left on that order, one and a half minutes, yeah. and. I now chew through this cruiser. It's not a question if I kill this guy, but rather how long it takes me. And this is now when I just am not really good with my aim. And also the range is always just a little bit wrong. But uh, yeah, I think I would kill this guy if I would have more time. But the juicy violis, they keep in. And now watch what happens when the game actually ends. There is a little message, 320,000 silver lines, just from that order alone. Now let that sink in, pun intended, and look at the post battle results. The game itself took less than 10 minutes. Now I challenge anybody of you to beat that 1 million in that time. Technically, I can beat myself, yeah, yeah, because I still have somewhere a 900% civil line booster. But 
that's quite impressive. And that's it for me today. So thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope you take this as the right motivation to make the quick buck. That's it for me today. So thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Please give this video a like if it is for you. It's just a click for me. It means the world. Subscribe if you want to see more. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this tactic. And as usual, we'll see each other on the battlefields, in the skies and on the waves of War Thunder.